the NHS invited members of the media for a behind-the-scenes tour of bringing the state-of-the-art St. Catherine site to life. We're going to go through the various mechanical rooms and take a look at the uh, HVAC systems, the uh, emergency power systems, main electrical distribution, um, heating water systems, and uh, steam systems that serve the hospital. Now we've got just about two months to go before you have to hand over the keys. What are some key components that still have to be completed? Um, in terms of items left to complete, we are wrapping up the final stages of the commissioning program. Um, the field guys are busy uh, working through all the deficiencies that are in the hospital, the construction related deficiencies, um, touching up paint, um, touching up flooring areas, stuff like that. Uh, in terms of the commissioning, we are doing our final air balancing in areas, um, final water balancing. Uh, and the, the, the last component of our commissioning, which is the integrated system testing, which is tying all those systems together and making sure they function uh, for NHS's requirements. Now, Gloria, we've seen all the, the work that's gone into putting the building together. Now your job comes when you get the keys. What happens then? that job of getting the keys started uh, several years ago because we really we've noted that our user groups our clinical staff our physicians uh, have been a part of this process right from day one and so the focus of this entire building has always been how are we going to improve the experience of the patient uh, the families and our staff so You'll see in every decision that's gone in, and even as we toured the mechanical, electrical rooms, that really the focus has always been how do we improve the comfort of the patient, how do we improve the environment for the staff and for the patient, and how do we ensure safety at all times. So we're going to continue that as we take the keys and start looking at the operations of the hospital. As we take this beautiful building with all of these features, we have to make sure that our staff are well educated educated, oriented, and trained in how to make the best use of it. So one of the really exciting features that we've sp spoken about before is the fact that the facility has 80% private rooms for our patients. Tim, we saw some of the monitoring systems at the top. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that, how innovative that is for a hospital like this? When we did the tour, you've seen a number of systems, our electrical emergency power systems, our, our medical, medical uh, air and gas systems, our boiler controls, um, everything's fed back to a central building automation system. We have the ability to proactively monitor uh, and alarm uh, proactively any parameters or functionality that may be uh, compromised. Uh, we, we can act proactively to try to prevent any interruption to the patient uh, experience in, in the facility. This sophistication is, is uh, recordable. Uh, we can analyze all of our data and we'll maintain all of that data for the life of the facility. So now from a commissioning point of view, what's left to do? Um, so this is the phase of the project where we uh, start to finalize all the, the commissioning process, um, wrap up all the outstanding paperwork. So just in terms of paperwork alone, there'll be about 52 three-inch binders that we'll turn over to JCI proving, and the owner, NHS, proving that we have tested and verified that all these systems function uh, as required. Um, and then uh, in terms of me, uh, making sure that the, the spaces themselves uh, are conditioned properly and the services are available for the medical equipment that's now coming into the facility. So your, your, your CAT scans, your uh, x-rays, all this sort of stuff. Um, they all have power requirements. Some of them have HVAC requirements. So we ensure prior to bringing that equipment in that those requirements are met, then we bring the equipment into the, the space. The equipment manufacturer themselves comes into the facility and starts doing their testing on that equipment. The St. Catherine site is on budget and on time and will be completed by November the 26th. Stay tuned to TV Kojiko for more details leading up to the hospital opening on March 24, 2013. Reporting for The Source, I'm Bob Romeo.